Greetings guys, this is Dokraft, and today we're looking at the highest damage game I've been able to get in my FE2 and 5B. And as you can hear, this replay is still from 9.13, which doesn't really matter though. But I still want to cover all my 9.13 replays before I update my client. But it doesn't really matter anyway that I haven't updated it yet because I didn't have time to play World of Tanks anyway for the past few weeks. But luckily I had time to make these videos every week for you guys. So I have a game for you here on Sand River as we can see. It's a 49% or so yeah the teams are pretty balanced out I would say. So the thing is I go to the northern flag because I think that... At the northern flank you can get a much more progressive fight and at the southern flank it yeah mostly starts with a sort of campy progressive fight and i don't really like those kind of engagements so the thing is i want to see what's up on this flank here as there's only one artillery i am not too worried about him but the thing is it's a conqueror gun carriage so if it is going to hit me it is going to hurt a lot but as you can see on this flag so far we've spotted the Tiger 2 and a stock T-54. And I'm not afraid of these enemy tanks at all. Because as you know I have shown replays of the FE-2 and 5B yeah, more often on my channel. And the thing is this tank has got one of the highest DPMs in the game. Which means if I hit my shots of course. But the thing is I do have to be careful which shots I fire because this tank doesn't have the most yeah, shells, yeah, the shell capacity. So this T-54 made a massive place play here and he's already out. There is this Tiger 2 still who looks like he's on his own. So yeah and as my team have killed the tanks here on the left I know that I am not going to get shot in the side of the tank when I try to engage this Tiger 2. So I don't really need premium rounds or anything to engage this Tiger 2. But still it bounces and I have no idea why. My shot, my shot must have hit his comp mallet or something like that. Because there's almost no way that my shot would have bounced if it hit, if it hit anything else. Now the Tiger 2 is of course still trying. Respect to you guy but this is not going to go well for him of course. There's also this E50 behind me. Oh yeah behind me. He's going to help me fight this, e, this T54 of this Tiger 2. Sorry. The thing is, this guy can't really do anything about this. He's trying to angle his armor, but well, that's not going to help against my gun, of course. And we take him down. The thing is, we also spotted the Type 4 Heavy there. But the thing is, if I advance towards that flank there and go into the dip right there to try and fight the Type 4 Heavy, that fight will be quite awkward because, of course, that tank has got really good armor and even with premium rounds, and with careful aim it is still going to be pretty hard to take him out because he's got full health so what I do now I decide okay let's go and help the other flank because it's not looking very well and I think yeah the type forever is a really slow tank it's very likely that he's going to stay there the entire game so going to fast forward a little bit type forever is still there I try a shot but the thing is so good armor that yeah I miss my shot and now we've got this ST1 when I drove back towards the middle of the map. Good shot on the side of the turret. Good stuff. So as we can see the enemy T57 heavy platoon for what I have to watch out a lot. Uh, has almost wiped down the entire flank there. And we are three tanks behind according to the scores. So how can I deal with the situation? I know there's a lot of enemy tanks in the middle of the map. So I think okay let's go up to this mid ridge. And see if I can get some free shots off. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. There's a T28 prototype in the open there. Let's see if I can put some fire into him. And I'm keeping an eye on the map to see if the T57 heavies and the T125 are advancing. They are not. They're just camping right there as we can see. But as you guys know the FE2 and 5B has got some great gun handling. And that just enables me to make great snapshots on any tanks that are standing here in the middle but of course the T57 heavies are shooting heat ammunition at me because why not so I try to find the shot on the T28 prototype and that's when a second heat shell enters my tank of course my but oh well side 
turret, a side of the turret on the SC1. That's going to be an easy penetrating shot. Enemy armor is damaged. There we go. So this SC1 is pretty much done for. I can put a second one as to his turret. But I won't be able to take him out unless he is pulling back behind the ridge line there. And now the T57 heavies and the T175 are still camping there. So I see that his turret is peeking out and I am looking for a shot here, the tiniest shot in the world. Can I hit it? Yes I can. And that's just what an FE2 and 5B is capable of and is good for. So that is ST1 going to make a bad shot now. I thought I could penetrate the side armor of the ST1 there. But of course I couldn't because it was really well angled. So now loading the premium rounds because the T57 heavies and the T125 are now going to make a move. Which is significantly yeah, worse for us than if they would be camping back there. So, now the, these two tier 8 heavy tanks are advancing at this E50M. But the, the, not the E50M, but the E50. The E50 is doing some great work here. But now the tier 10 heavy tanks are doing something weird. They, they are not going after the, their tier 8 heavy tanks to help them out. But... I can see this T57 heavy, he's on low health, and I will probably be able to take him out. There we go. But now there's this IS-3 and the Cadaver here. Yeah, I think, okay, this other T125 uh, is still in the middle of the map, so he would be able to help out his T8 heavy tanks. So I'm just going to help out this E50 here. See if I can put a shot into IS-3. No, artillery takes him down. And I shoot him right through the turret as I had premium rounds loaded. Of course, very unnecessary premium rounds, but I had to take it down, of course. And I didn't want to reload an AP shot because that was just going to take too much time. And now we've pretty much come back into this game now. There's this T-125 still who didn't do a single damn to help his team, which is pretty bad play in my opinion. He's a good player as well, no idea why he didn't help his team. But this E50M and me are going to try and fight and take out this T-125. But this fight is quite awkward as you can see. It's you, you come at me, no you come at me bro. It's a, such kind of fight. So the thing is, what can I do here? I will try to find a shot in this not so weak Upolis anymore. So the E50 is going to do something really smart now. He's going to try and like the T-125 as the T-125 is focusing on me putting a shot into his weak point and I see that the E-50 is going to take him down so now there's only this type 4 heavy left and of course as we would expect he didn't move the entire game so I've only got three shell three AP shells left as well as a few more HE shells no idea why I have that many HE shells in this tank the thing is the HE shells on this tank, yo, those are Hesh shells, I believe. Yes, those are Hesh shells, and Hesh shells have got uh, a little bit more penetration than normal HE rounds. But the thing is, the Type 4 Heavy is now around the corner here, and he is still on full health. So, how can we take down this game here? So, the thing is, I decide to go up here to try and flank him, but of course, I get spotted, and he now knows that I am coming. So, I wait for the E50, or I think the dump, yeah the E50 again, who is trying to flank him, which will helps, and now I see my opportunity as he turns his track towards me, I decided to take that because I could, but luckily it goes into my tracks, and I put the last shot here, and my team finish off the team type 4 heavy, so guys, absolutely phenomenal, 6.7k damage, highest damage game I've ever been able to get in my FE2 and 5B. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I know that these kind of videos aren't the most popular on my channel, but I still want to show off great replays that I have. But still, this replay was really something extraordinary and I really wanted to show you. And I still hope the video was enjoyable. And if it was enjoyable, please think about leaving a like as I did put a lot of time in making this video. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.